Hey there everyone, it's Michael Beresford here for today's Property Wealth Wad. Um, at Open Court, we have a fair bit of experience in the, uh, the building industry, obviously. Uh, Cam's brother works in the building industry. Um, I'm actually going through a process at the moment, trying to work through plans and designs and all that kind of thing for, uh, for a potential uh, new home that, uh, that we're going to live in. And as I was going through the hassle of all of this uh, build planning process, I thought what better topic to talk about in today's Wealth Wad than the build process. So, it's really easy when you think about building a house to think about building the house. The building component of it, yes, it's time consuming, takes a lot of effort, it's a project management exercise. You've got a lot of different people involved in it, whether it be the builder, the landscaper, the tiler, the sparkies, the plumbers, the whoever, I've left some people out. Um, there's a lot of, lot of different trades involved. Um, but the build process is really only part of the process of getting from a block of land uh, or a knockdown through to the point where you actually either own or occupy the property or you have a tenant. So I thought I'd just walk you through what a build process looks like and the different components that, uh, that happen within that process, uh, what happens, how long they take, and what you can expect from an end-to-end -end time frame. The reason why that's so important, obviously, is because once you've bought the land or the existing property you're knocking down, you're paying interest to the bank. So the last thing you want to be doing is be caught uh, short on the amount of interest that you're allowing for. Okay. So let's say that this is when you settle on the property. It might be a block of land, might have an existing house on it that you're knocking down. Doesn't matter. Let's say it's settling on a block of land, we're building this, this thing from scratch. Now, the common uh, belief is that if you settle on a Wednesday, that the builder starts on the Thursday. Okay? Not the case. What happens is there's generally a period here that depends on the location, it depends on the local council of maybe up to 12 weeks we'd expect it to be a little bit less in most councils but kind of worst, I like to give you a worst case scenario worst case of about 12 weeks that the actual builder might be liaising with the local council what happens as part of that process is that the house plans are actually being approved and the builder is doing some preliminary work such as soil testing and so forth. Basically, site preparation to be able to get the site ready to lay the slab. So, I'm sure you've probably seen if you've been looking on realestate.com.au or, or, or any of the, uh, the builder's websites, um, you'll notice that they like to offer guaranteed construction periods you know, of maybe 16 to 20 weeks. So that sounds pretty favourable when you think, okay, 16 to 20 weeks, I can have a house built and tenanted. But as you can see, there's already a lead time for this time to be able to actually start. Okay, so when we look at this, there are actually five stages to a build process. There's the slab, then the frame, lock up, fixing, and final. So. The house happens, the house construction process actually happens across five stages, okay? And at each of these stages, there's uh, basically a QA check, a quality assurance check, that the work has been done to scratch, a valuer may well go out onto site, and then an invoice is generated. That invoice needs to be submitted to the bank, and then the builder can be paid. So there's quite a few steps at each of these five steps in a build process. And typically, until the builder gets their payment for the previous stage, the next stage can't start. So within this guaranteed time frame, typically what the builders will do is they'll give their clients some slack, maybe a week, the invoice gets issued, it's been submitted to the bank, they'll start this next stage before they've got their money as, a val as an appeared value add to be able to build this house in a quick time frame. Now, when you get to the final stage, that doesn't actually mean that the house is fully finished. What you have at this point are 
what's called practical completion inspections or PCIs as we call them. Um, basically that is uh, an inspector going in and having a look for all of the finishing touches that need to happen. Firstly, is the house finished and habitable? If it is, great. Um, are the doors smooth? Do the doors stick? Are there scratches on the glass? Is there a dent in the gutter? All of these little things that we generally call defects. Okay? And that PCI is booked in, can be a week, and then to get all of these things rectified, best case, you're looking at another two weeks, and then finally, at that point, you get to what we call handover. Okay, And that's the point where the builders, basically, as the owner, give the house to you and say, everything is built, finished, signed off, and ready to go. Okay, um, So there you go. That's basically how our build process works. But at this stage, you've actually only got the house. What else do we need? We need tenants. So, until you get handover and the keys, you can't actually start to do advertising and open for inspections, okay? So, as you can see, it's a pretty long process. I've run out of room. From handover, you may well be looking at up to another month, if not more, perhaps. By the time you get the advertisement, um, you know, lodged through your, uh, your property manager on the, uh, the real estate websites. You have some open for inspections. You get the application forms. You vet those application forms. You do your police checks, the employment checks, etc., for the prospective tenants. And then they're actually able to arrange a date to move in. So a month is probably cutting it pretty skinny. It may well be more. So I guess in summary, guys, there is a rundown of all the things that happen through a build process. If you were building, or you're thinking about building, please, the takeaway message from this WOD is that while the builder might guarantee a certain build time, okay, make sure you factor in all the other weeks, months, that go into this process between when you settle on a block of land and start paying interest and you actually start to get rental income from the property. We'll catch you next time. Bye for now.